What's up everybody? Got a little bit of a different video today. Corn on the cob. All right, everybody's been talking about this and we finally tried it the other day. Corn ribs, okay? I'm not a huge corn on the cob guy. It's okay, you know, usually I like to put it in the aluminum foil, on the grill, garlic, salt, butter. I think that's the best way. A lot of people really like corn on the cob. They really want to do these. So we're going to do the corn ribs. We did them the other night. They were a big hit around here. Figured we'd make a video show you guys how to do it. Pro tip of the day, right off the bat for this, guys, get a sharp knife. Make sure your knife is sharp for this because there's one cut on here that's a little bit iffy. First thing you do, get your corn shucked. Get all your silk off of there. Come down here on the bottom and get a nice square edge there on that first cut because that's going to come into play real quick. Stand this joker up. It kind of leans. I like to lean it at me a little bit. Get that top inch off of there too. I did find that when you cook that, that thing gets a little crispy if you don't cut that. So square off your bottom and your top. Come in the top. And then this is tricky. You want to try to go straight down. And essentially what you're wanting to do is quarter an ear of corn. So get that nice, easy, get your hand on top of the knife. Don't cut your fingers. Please be careful doing this. It is no joke. Lay it down flat, start on the thin edge, and just rock her back. There it is. And what, why they call these corn ribs is because when they cook, they kind of curl and take the shape of like a rib bone. But what I really like about them is you can get so much more seasoning all over this bad boy. I mean, in a ear of corn, you can only get so much seasoning in between the kernels. But this, you can get it on this edge, this edge, everywhere. Then these things cook up super good. Uh, first time we did them, we did them in the oven. We did them 350 for 30 minutes. They turned out great. Today, we're going to use a pit boss. We're going to pellet smoke these bad boys. So I'm going to cut the rest of these. We're going to get them buttered, seasoned. Today, we're going to be using the good old Riz Rub on it. I love this stuff. It's made by Sugar Fire. It's awesome, and it's great on this corn. So we'll be right back. All right, pellet grills up to 350. The corn is buttered, seasoned up, ready to go on the grill. The, uh, the shout out today is going to go to a guy that apparently came over here the other day and actually uh, walked through the cooking area, a young man who's a, a dedicated subscriber and follower, that'd be Parker. Sorry I wasn't here, bud, to, to cook for you, maybe next time, right? Uh, make sure everybody likes, share, subscribe the videos. We're going to get these on, we got a storm coming in, so these are going to go, we're going to check them at 20 minutes. Uh, last time it took 30, so we'll go with that, and uh, we'll show them to you in 20 minutes. Uh, okay, we're 20 minutes in. I just rotated and pivoted them. Getting some good color. You can see how they're starting to curl up a little bit. Those were the ones that were on the right side. These were the ones on the left. Rotate them, turn them 20 minutes in. We'll check them again in 20 minutes. All right, they've been on 30 minutes. They look good, we got good color, we got another storm cell coming in. So we're gonna go ahead and pull them. Nice and curly, good color on them. Riz Rub Corn Ribs, say that five times fast. We got, actually we got two different flavors here. We did a, a barbecue bacon honey rub on uh, half of them and then we got the Riz Rub on the other half. Smell fantastic. I know they're good. We'll take them in now. We'll put a little bit of a, a little bit of butter on them. And I'm sure somebody's gonna put a little bit of sugar on theirs too. Maybe a little bit of salt and Parmesan cheese or something. But finish them off the way you like them. There you go. Riz Rub Corn Ribs. All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Everybody have a great day.